hello friends you are welcome back to my channel today is another video we are still doing broad mess which i call a save mess but for this week i'm going to show you guys how i'm setting up my 2024 everything that i'm going to do in 2024 when it comes to my life my finances and everything because this is the life so keep watching hi friends my name is josie if you are new here you are welcome to my channel on this channel i talk about a lot about cut stuff and savings challenges and paying off my student loan and when it comes to my finances i feel like it's surrounded in all the areas in my life which we have a lot of areas in our life it's uncountable but most of the time there are some awareness that you have to take in your life and when it comes to the awareness aspect of your life, it involves a lot. And some of the areas is your spiritual life, your social life, your mental, your physical, your occupation. All this comes under one umbrella when it comes to your awareness. I believe that your awareness has to be an healthy one so that you can drive in so many areas. So this year... So this coming year, 2024, I really want to take some initiative. I really want to take some, do some effort when it comes to this awareness in my life. And I want to spread it out, do little, little things every month, every week, every day, every hour to make sure that the awareness in my life is getting what they need, the nutrients that they need so that I can drive for my family, I can drive for my spiritual life, I can drive for helping other people, I can be healthy and strong. So for today's video, we're going to set up my 2024 goals and priorities. And I'm also going to talk a little things about what I'm going to do just 2024, how I'm going to deal with my goals, my priorities, some of the things that are really, really important to me. And I'm also going to tell you my word for 2022, my word for 2024, my, the, my quotation around that word. And that's my prayer that that word will, will manifest in my life. I'm a Christian, so I believe that Jesus is the center of my life. So now let's dive into today's video. So I did have 2024 calendar here. And first of all, I really want to circle some of the important dates, which is really, really important. Like on the 5th of May is my birthday. Definitely it's one of the important days. My husband's birthday is on the 4th of April. I have my son's birthday on the 4th. Fourth, I have my Nana's birthday is on the thirteenth. Kuku's birthday, that's my baby girl, is on the sixteenth. So May is a, best, a very busy month for me because we have a lot of birthdays. My mom's birthday is twenty ninth of August. In September, I have two birthdays. I have on the eighteenth and the thirtieth. Those are the birthdays in my family. I also have other birthdays, like my sister's birthday is 29th. My brother, my elder brother also have a birthday in August 29th. My younger brother is April 25th. So these are some of the birthdays I really want to remember because they are, they are my family members. So definitely I have to remember because like this year, I forgot my brother's birthday and it didn't go well at all. That's some of the things. I know, I know that somebody's birthday is 25th of July. I have somebody's birthday on the 15th of June. Like there are other birthdays I know I'm going to remember this year. 
I have them on my calendar. So I'll fill them in to make sure I have all those birthday. One of my friend's birthday is on the 1st of May. I can remember that. The other important days I know I'm going to fill them in when it comes to my 2024 calendar. Yeah. And if you guys are ready for this year, I have two ways. My word for the year, I have two of them because they go in handy. You can't leave one or the other. So my word for this year is grace. and messy these words go together like you can't leave one or the other so grace and mercy for those of you who are from my country adum 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 binti adum is nina mia dumanka we are not where we are right now if it's not the grace of god i don't think i'll be sitting here by now and if i have the mercy of god on me I know, I know everything that I do, God hands will be in it. So my word is grace and mercy. They go hand in hand. And when I say my yearly quotes, I'm doing it around my word. So I'm choosing a Bible verse, which explains itself. So Psalm 119, 132-133. So this quotation is what is going to be. And I'm taking it from NIV. Because some of the Bible verse explain it differently. But this is definitely from NIV. It said, I'll write it. I'll speed it up. Then I will explain it to you. Okay, so this is Psalm 119, 132 to 133. And I'm taking it from NIV. He said, turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do with those who love you, your name. Direct my footstep according to your word and let no sin rule over me. So that's what my word is going to be or my Bible quotation for 2024. So this is like a layout calendar for me and I'm going to fill in, especially date of bed, some important events that is coming and I know I'm going to schedule some events coming up. I'm working on all those. So this is how that one look like. Then now let's go ahead and set my goals and priority up for this year. Then I'll tell you what next. So this one, of course, this year is 2024. Coming year is 2024. And I have my notes here, which I don't think I'll write anything there. But like I said, when it comes to the area of your life, there's a lot of stuff that comes in your area of your life. Spiritual, your finances, your health, your mental life your self-care all those things come but for me today i'm going to fill out about five of them which so i have six spaces here which every year i do really set my goals and priority but this year i really really want to be specific and simple not too much time <coughs> 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 Not too much. I wouldn't do too much when it comes to my area in my life that I really, really want to concentrate on. I'm only going to fill five of the areas, but in case something come up throughout the year, I can fill it in for the last one. That's why I have six spaces. And one of the areas that I really want to start with is my spiritual. My spiritual life is very important to me. For those of you who follow me, you know. You know that when it comes to my spiritual, yes, I'm always telling you I'm a Christian and I really want to improve. The next one area of my life that I really want to work on a lot is my health. I cannot, I always tell people I cannot afford to be sick. When I say that, a lot of people don't understand. 
I really cannot afford to be sick because I have a lot of people depending on me and I cannot. No, 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 no. Some area of my life that I really want to concentrate is my family. Yes, I have a big a family of eight. It's a big family. If I don't take care of it very well, I will mess up in that area. I wouldn't have time for my family and stuff. And also friends, family and friends, which is one of the areas I want to. Then after that, I want to go to my finances. Yes, this is a budgeting channel. We talks about money. So of course, finances is going to be one of the major areas your girl want to improve all the time. I don't want to fail in this area. Then my next one that I really want to work on is my self-care and improvement. I really want to self-care. My self-care and also my self-improvement. I put both together because they go hand in hand. Oh, I couldn't fit here, but that's what I mean. My self-care and my self-improvement. Because I have to improve myself. Why I'm improving myself, I have to take care of myself as well. So that's what I'm going to do. The last one, in case something come up, I will fill you guys in. But as of now, I only have five areas I really, really want to improve i really want to work on it slowly daily weekly monthly or the year round to improve so under these areas what do i really want to do under these areas like when it comes to my spiritual i'm going to fill it in then i'll talk to you guys through So when it comes to my spiritual life, I really want to have at least 30 minutes with Jesus. It means I have to read my Bible. It's my quiet time. That 30 minutes, I really want to spend time with Jesus. It's something very important to me. Every year I say it, but I don't do it every day. But this year I'm going to have intentional about this. I also want to do one Bible plan every month. When you take the Bible plan on your app, always they have a lot of plans that you can do. I really want to do one every month, at least one plan every month. It helps you read the Bible all the time and also help in my spiritual life. I really want to read two spiritual books this year and I want to have one day in a month that I'm going to fast. It means that day is just for fasting. And it's a spiritual fasting, not just a regular fasting. Now let's move on to my health. When it comes to my health, I want to really keep it very, very simple. I want to drink five ounces of water, five 16 ounces of water per day. It it means that the 16 ounces bottle, I want to drink five of them a day. I want to do 12 minutes exercise five times a week. Like a day, I want to do 12, just 12 minutes. 12 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully I can. There's a lot of exercise on Facebook. There's this lady that last year I was following an exercise. He has 12 minutes and it's very intense. It means that you do like 10 minutes, then you warm up for two minutes very intense i really want to do that i want to drink one healthy juice every single day one healthy juice not sugary drink like fruit and vegetables i mean i have a juicer so that's not a problem at all now let's go to my family and friends let me write it down then When it comes to family and friends, it's mostly my family, but at times you really have to involve your friends as well. It's very, very important. As we grow up, 
friends kind of like fade away you get new friends you get people that you cannot com connect mostly with so it's very very tricky but i'm the type that at times i forgot to check up on people i know i know it's it's kind of a tricky thing but when it comes here day night of course with my husband we want to do it once a month we want to have a family date a family day date date day i mean a family date day it means that all the family will go out we we, are, we were doing it this year and it was really really helpful because it's kind of like let us bond and it let us make a try other stuff but this year i really want us to maybe go to a park go to like concert as a family like do something not really going out to eat alone so this is some of the things I really want to do at least once a month, especially when the weather is really, really nice. I want to do one mini vacation, which I did it this year. It felt so good to have a mini vacation. So good to have a, a mini vacation with my husband. But this year, I don't know yet, but I might have one mini vacation, which I'm planning towards it. We want to have a family movie night which we do it we're supposed to do it every friday but at times i go to work i come home i'm tired and we can't do it but in a month <clears throat> in a month my goal is for us to have two at least two family movie night in the house or we go to the cinema to do that i also want to check on one friend like a long time friend once a month at least one of them once a month to check on them to see how they are doing it can also be for my extended family back home which i check on them anyway so that's one of my goals my next one is of course finances when it comes to finances you guys know is <laughs> it has to be one of the goals when it comes to finances, I have put a lot of stuff on the finances and I really, really want to achieve it. So it's going to be something that routinely I'll be doing something to check in with my finances because it's one of the goals that I don't want to joke with it at all. When it comes to finances, it's like I said, it's one of the things that I really, I have a lot of savings challenge that I'm going to do this year. And I really want to complete all the savings challenges, which you guys are going to see. I'm going to set it up with you guys. So you guys will see that. All my savings challenges, I'm going to do it the way I know I can finish them. I also want to pay about 20000 towards my student loan. That's one of my financial goals. I also want to grow my business income for about 5%, which I just started a little business as a side hustle. If you guys have seen, I'm selling wallets. I'm doing savings challenges. If you haven't checked my store out, please go do so. Thank you so much for checking it out. That's some of the little profit that I've been making to pay towards my student loan. And I really want to go by 5%. So I just started, so I'm starting it slowly. I want to stick to our budget. About 80% of the time, I want to stick to it. I At times, I feel in a month, like I go over some stuff. In a month, maybe I'll spend more. But this, this year, I really want to really 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 want to stick to our budget so you guys will see what are some of the things i'm going to do when it comes to sticking to our budget i will tell you more my last goal for 2024 and my priorities that i really want to work is my self-care and improvement so i'm going to write it in then i'll talk to you guys about it When it comes to my self-care and improvement i really want to read six books 
it's mostly going to be spiritual books and finances about six books for the whole year it means that every other month every two months like i would say every two months i read one book so when i start a book and i don't finish i have to finish the following month so at the end of the year i'll read about six books which last year i said to read one book per month it didn't go as planned i think i read like five of them which was okay but this year i want to jump into six I want to learn one technique when it comes to business. I'm still new when it comes to this, when it comes to business. So I really want to learn one technique about business because I'm still learning and at times it gets overwhelmed. <clears throat> this year, I really want to treat myself special. It can be pedic, it can be massage, going to a spa. It can also be taking myself out just to go buy stuff for myself because most of the times i don't do that for myself but this year coming i really really want to do that like maybe when i achieve a goal i can take myself out without anybody just go sit somewhere relax think about myself all that i really want to treat myself really special this year <laughs> because at times we really have to treat ourselves so that we can treat others better as well so these are all my goals and priorities and you guys are going to follow along when it comes to that you guys are going to see how i'm going to achieve all this goal if you haven't set your goals and priority for this year i urge you to start right now we are in the, we are in um december and the days are really running so fast today is the 11 of broad mix i can't believe we already done 11 videos already and as I go along this year, I think in 2020, I learned about five to drive. The I think I saw it on um, Instagram, I think. And that year, I used to do it a lot. And five to drive means that you pick five things that you want to drive about, like you want to improve. So this year, every month, according to my goals, I'm going to pick five things that I really, 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 really want to do. Like if I say this month, I'm going to drink my six ounces of water for towards my health. I surely want to do that. So you pick at times you can pick one or two things in your in all your goals and you you drive about it then every month you improve along so i want to do it this year as well so i have this also this sheet also that i'm going to work on it as part of my priorities and my goals so thanks for watching me today i really appreciate everybody watching my video and why i post them late i really really appreciate everybody thank you so much if you haven't set your goals yet, I hope this will encourage you to set your goals now. Thank you. I will see you in my next video. Go and be grateful. Tomorrow, another video is coming. You don't want to miss it. So click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you don't miss any of my video. Bye, bye, bye.